Hi, I'm Nicola. I'm the chemistry teacher here at the Academy and I've just got my hand on the chemistry paper from today. I'm just going to have a look through it. So, um, question one was to be expected because that's the titration experiment. And this year I was 50-50 whether it was going to be the iron tablet or the bleach experiment and bleach came up, which is what I'm thrilled about. And it's also the nicer calculation as well. So that's a great one. Question two, I knew it, was the soap experiment. Everyone in my sixth year class and my grinds has been at me all year. What experiment do I think is coming up for organic chemistry? And I predicted soap back in September. I knew that was going to come up. And then question three is always a bit of a, a wild card. Now, because the testing for anions hasn't come up in so long, I kind of that was one of my predictions for question three. So I'm really happy that it came up and it looks like quite a nice one compared to the last time it came up. Question four was a nice one this year because they had a little bit of extra choice and no real surprises there. Fairly standard questions. Question four is always a nice one. Then question five. Excellent. It's all about ionization energies and trends and the periodic table, just as predicted, which is a good one. So all five questions, the first five questions have been really nice ones so far. So if you are someone who liked experiments, they were three really, really nice experiments. Question four, everybody does anyway, because you get two free bonus marks for doing it. Question five was a lovely one for that question. And question six, my first organic question. That's not an experiment. That is an amazing question. It's all about petrol and fuels. And the heat of combustion question is a fantastic one because it's only one mole of what's being combusted. And we did that exact example in class, which is brilliant. Loving that. Question seven, the pH. That's a really nice pH question. Eight is the other organic. Now, if it was me, I would have gone straight for all three organic questions. And they all three of them are really nice. Yep, that one's a really nice one. And nine. Now, nine I predicted this year was going to be a full equilibrium question, and it is. There's also a little bit of rates in there as well. And catalysts. Yes, new catalysts were going to come up this year. And they did. Now, question 10 and 11 are usually a bit, they can be anything across the core syllabus. And question 11 has the option as well. And VSEPR, everyone said I was nuts. I knew that was coming up for 25 marks and it did. And that is a phenomenal question. Oh, that's so nice and it's really short as well. Then we've got another rates question which is also really nice. And as you can see from this one, your definitions are quite important in this paper. Question C is all about moles and mass of something formed. Volume at STP, I'm glad I looked at that at the end of term. And then, still happy about that one. Question 11A, now question 11 this year had four parts instead of three, just to allow for a little bit of extra choice. And one of them is the ethene experiment and all about solubility. So something I was really focusing on this year is intermolecular interactions because the new examiner seems to favor that in their papers. And it came up in question 11 in the ethene experiment. Now, question 11B was a bit of a surprise this year. It's all about the BOD. Now, BOD was quite a big question last year. And that's a lovely question as well. Then we have relative atomic mass. Delighted to see that. That was another prediction. And so was radioactivity. Thought radioactivity might have been a bigger question, but still happy to see it on the paper. And 11D is probably the question I am most delighted with because last year's option question was actually quite hard. It was all about liquefaction and the separation of nitrogen and hydrogen from air. And that's quite a tricky question. So I kind of thought this year was going to be either about nitrogen or ozone. Ozone was actually my first choice, but the nitrogen cycle and NOx and atmospheric nitrogen was my second choice. And that's what came up. And those are really nice questions. 
all in all, I'm actually really, really happy with that paper because all of my students are very well prepared for it. And I'm hoping because they only have to answer six because they're so well prepared that most of mine, are hopefully, fingers crossed, are going to answer a minimum of eight. And that's really going to help ironclad their marks and guarantee them top marks in this exam. That's such a lovely paper. I'm absolutely thrilled for them. I knew something was gonna come up. Everybody said I was crazy. Knew it. Absolutely knew it. I'm really happy with that. Oh, Molly, what do you think of the chemistry paper? Please don't eat it. Yes, you're not impressed. Oh, she wants to go. 